so that you fully comprehend that Jesus did not change Old Testament law or prophets. Let's take a quick look and compare Old Testament and New Testament summations of the law. In Deuteronomy, it is said that thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. Of course, this is referencing the Ten Commandments of Deuteronomy chapter 5, where the, where the law was given. In Leviticus 19 and verse 18, it says, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. And the Old Testament prophets also spoke about regarding this moral law. Zechariah 8.17 says, Let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against your neighbor, and love no false oath, for all these things, all these th things I hate, saith the Lord. Micah 6, verse 8, which is one of my favorite verses, sums it up very nicely. He hath showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee? but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. The only way we can do that is if we are in the spirit and then we are in kingdom life and we are obeying the Beatitudes. Now let's compare that with what the New Testament has to say as summed up by Jesus when he was confronted by the Pharisees. You can find this in Matthew chapter 22 verses 34 to 40. And it goes like this. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of, them, one of them, which was a lawyer, asked a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. You can see that that refers back to Deuteronomy chapter 6. And the second, Jesus said, is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, referring back to Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 18. And then he goes on to say, on these two commandments hang all the law and prophets. So you see, there is no difference in terms of understanding that Christ is only expanding on the moral law in the Sermon on the Mount. He is not excluding it as part of our Christian living, but instead is highlighting our need for it, as well as helping the people understand that the scribes and Pharisees in their interpretation of the law were misguiding them by changing the law. And this is what made God so angry and why Jesus came into such strong conflict with the Pharisees and the scribes. Let's look further into this.